Ha ha ha! I come for my redemption! I come ready for battle! I come live to take on the challenge that has once defeated me. Welcome to Crazy Jay's Wild Ride. I am Crazy Jay, and this is my wild ride. Mm -hmm. Right. So, a couple things. First of all, this is a League of Fire challenge. So I'm going to get right into the disclaimer. And then I will share, which you can probably see by the ticker, what I'm doing. Thank you for joining me. The disclaimer is as follows. I, Jason Rice, a.k.a. Crazy J, am over 18 years of age. Clearly, I am of sound mind and have read and understood the hot sauce product disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept that the League of Fire, their suppliers and manufacturers will under no circumstances be responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product or multiples thereof. I acknowledge and agree to this without question. Welcome, my friends. So today, make sure I get everything in the room here. Gonna need a timer. Everybody can see and hear me okay? Right. I come back to you from my fault of episode 13 in season one. People wanted a challenge that I've failed, and people wanted peanuts. I come to you with the peanut brutal challenge, the redemption. I will destroy this challenge. So the rules are, Eat. There are three bars. I will eat the three bars consecutively from one, two, and three. No afterburn in between. No wait period. I tried to get cocky last time. A little overconfident. Then there is a five-minute afterburn. Simple as that. So we start with one. Level one, warming up. Batch one gets this party started with Carolina Reaper and Boot Jalokia Ghost Peppers. Who is the OMG? Batch two doubles the Reapers and Ghost Peppers and adds a slap in the face shot of seven pot brain strain peppers. Level three, WTH. Batch three goes all in with more Reapers, more Ghost Pepper, and a healthy shot of Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. Finishing our assault on your tortured taste buds, we introduce you to the brutally hot seven pot primo pepper for the worst five minute afterburn you can imagine. Keep out of reach of children and the elderly. Do not consume if you are sensitive to hot and spicy foods. Allergic to peanuts, peppers, or capsaicin, pregnant, or have any medical condition, wear gloves. When handling, don't touch eyes or any part of your body. Wash completely with soap after use. Yes. I do have underwear on. So if I start taking this off because I get hot, please know that I am wearing clothes-ish. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take, well, uh, whatever. So these are sealed. Okay, from this point on, this will do what I can to stay in camera. I will open this and get started.
Level one. Level two. Level three. All right. That's right there. That's right there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and open all three of them and get into it. So if you're a dentist or a dental hygienist or care about teeth, ah, this is a tough one. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's ride. Two-thirds through the first peanut brutal. Mm. Too much. <laughs> Got too much in his mouth. It's difficult to chew. This one produce a lot of saliva <clears throat> up front. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. There's no time to eat these, so <clears throat> what's it taste like besides the hot? <clears throat> so this first one is good. Tastes like your normal peanut brittle with a lot of extra peanuts. A lot more peanuts in this one than one I've had before. Got one big bite left of the first chunk. <clears throat> this one is the Carolina Reaper with Boot Jalokia Ghost Peppers. <clears throat> it's the warming up one. Getting hard to breathe. Hard to chew. Uh, uh. 
song the song from Shrek. Mm -hmm. A lot of saliva. Two doubles the Reapers and Ghost Peppers and adds a slap in the face shot of seven pot brain strain peppers. <coughs> so on to the second piece of peanut brutal here. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm not talking too much, focusing. Patty says, you can do uh. it. This is his peanut brutal redemption challenge. He did the peanut brutal way back when he first started doing these and didn't make it through. So this is his redemption challenge. This is the one I tried a tiny, tiny bite of, and it was awful. He didn't throw up on this one. Crunchy one. Oh. From old Agnes. <coughs> nope, not this one. The one that got me was the crunchy one from old Agnes. That's the one that. Huh. Body reacted. Still tastes like peanut brittle or just hot now? I don't want to think about that stuff. <clears throat> if they ask me a question, I'll try to answer it if you can. So, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>
Again, this is the second piece out of three. It's about basically one decent chunk left of the second piece here. They're really peanutty. Create a lot of saliva this time. Which backs it up in my mouth. <clears throat> The third piece, Nixon. I don't know the answer to that. I got halfway through the third bar last time. Okay. Third piece. What the hell? Batch three goes. WTH. Oh. oh. Yeah. I know. WTH. Yeah, Batch three rolls. goes all in with more Reapers, <coughs> Ghost Peppers, and a healthy shot of Trinidad Maruga Scorpions. <coughs> Finishing our assault on your tortured taste buds, we introduce you to the brutally hot seven pot primo pepper for the worst five minute afterburn you can imagine. <clears throat> This one looks spicy. It has like a stronger redder tint to it for sure. Lots of peanuts still in it. He's on his third piece. Three out of three here.
why he does these on Monday nights so he doesn't have to go about worry about going into work <clears throat> a couple more bites you got this <clears throat> Got one more, one more chunk, two more, one decent size, one little, one little one. <clears throat> well, smaller. Anyway. It's on his last bar, last couple bites. <sighs> Sorry, folks. Oh. Really thought my tolerance was up, and it is heat wise, but <clears throat> stomach. Oh, sorry again. I was I was getting there. 
This one created a lot of saliva. And I couldn't swallow it. Appreciate y'all watching. Sorry you saw another fail. I was getting there. Started thinking about the afterburn. And then my stomach got it. And that's where it got me. But <clears throat> I have another. And another. And another. Come on, friends. Join in. I was going to try to get through two of them today for a redemption. But <clears throat> that one's tough. I uh, didn't let it mentally get to me all day. <clears throat> I prepared myself, but maybe a little over-prepared. My stomach is full. <clears throat> Heat-wise, I'm okay. <clears throat> but I started overthinking this one. <clears throat> Sucks. Heat wise, I can handle it. My mouth is okay. Tongue burn. Stomach is where it got me. Nothing I could do about it. Sometimes the heat is inv involuntary. But if I was to rank this, other than my little stepping off, heat wise, A heavy six, possibly a seven, but it's hot. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I was—I thought I was more prepared for this one. I really did. I'm not upset completely, but I really thought I was going to get through an extra one. I thought I was going to get through two of them. <coughs> Whew. But I've had no heat relief, just the, what happened in the stomach. But I appreciate you all. It's got my number so far. <laughs> it's tough. It is tough. But I'll challenge anybody. <clears throat> I'll send it right to you. I'll send it right to you. Won't cost you anything. <clears throat> Except me knowing your address. <laughs> but again, it was a, I thought it was a decent effort. <clears throat> Nothing I could do about it. So I apologize for that part. Heat wise, I'm good. I haven't had any heat relief. But <sighs> sorry. Please, tune in next time on Crazy Jay's Wild Ride. Stay crazy.